All right, now this one is an easier question. It's based on Venn diagram. Let's see, it's 36 students from three different schools. APS, KPS, DPS participated in two different games, cricket and basketball, such that each student belongs to only one of the three schools, okay, and played at least one of the two games. So there'll be nothing outside the Venn diagram, okay. The following facts about the students who participated in the games are given below. So these are specific information about various parts of that Venn diagram. Let's take a look at the questions. These are the questions, so we need to resolve how many play DPS, okay. So we need to resolve the data first and then we come back to the questions, okay. Let's come to this slide here, we have some space. We'll just draw the diagram and we start putting the values according to the information given, okay. So we have APS, KPS, DPS. So APS, cricket, basketball, cricket, basketball, okay. Then KPS, cricket, basketball, right. And then we have DPS. Be careful of their positioning so that you don't make any mistake. Cricket, basketball, right? So we have given the names and the diagram, APS, KPS, DPS, and so on. The number of students from APS who played only cricket is five more than the number of students who played KPS only basketball. So KPS only basketball, let's say it is A, then APS only cricket will be A plus five. Pure English translation, nothing else. Then the ratio of the number of students from KPS and DPS who played both the games is 3 is to 2. So KPS and DPS both games. So if I say this is 3x, this will be 2x, right? Fantastic, very good. The total number of students from APS is half the total number of students from KPS and DPS together. So we have used this information, we have used this information. Now total of APS is half of KPS, DPS, this APS is half of KPS and DPS. So KPS and DPS together will be twice of APS. Overall total is 36, right? You know, just to show, I'll change the color. I'll remove that later. Suppose this is P, this is Q, this is R. We know that P plus Q plus R is 36. And the question is saying that P is equal to Q plus R by two. So Q plus R is equal to two P. So in place of Q plus R, put 2P. So P plus 2P is 3P, 3P equal to 36, so P equal to 12, right? So we get P equal to 12, fine. That means the total of, total number of students in APS is 12. And the total number of students in KPS and DPS together is 36 minus 12, that is 24. Total here is 12, total of KPS and DPS, that is 24. So just to mark that, I'll put a line like this and I'll say 24, just keep in mind. Okay, very good. So we've used this information. Number of students who played cricket is double the number of students who played basketball. This is a big information. Total of cricket should be equal to twice of total of basketball. We'll use it later. Only one student from APS played both. APS, both is one. Nice, fantastic. Then we have, so this is used. Number of students from KPS who played basketball is equal to number of students who DPS who played cricket. So KPS basketball, KPS basketball, okay, is equal to students of DPS who played cricket. That is this one. Okay. So now we have no option. So what I'll do is, I'll just simply put the variables for unknowns. Say this is B. Okay. This is let's say y, this is z, this is m, right? Now, let's start from this information. It says, number of students from KPS who played basketball is equal to number of students from DPS who played cricket, okay? So we need KPS basketball. KPS basketball is a plus 3x is equal to, very carefully, DPS cricket. DPS cricket is Z plus 2X. Z plus 2X. Oh, ho. so we have Z equal to A plus X. Just let this be. This is one information that we have used. All right. Now, what else do we have? Let's start from here. This total is 12. So A plus 5 plus 1, 6 plus B. That is 12. So we have a plus b equal to 6. 
Okay. So, we have z in terms of a, we have b in terms of a if necessary. b is equal to 6 minus a. Very good. Let us go ahead. Next information that we can use is this total is 24. This total is 24. So, look at it closely. y plus 3x plus a plus z plus 2x plus m. So, what I am going to write is y plus a plus okay, y plus a plus z plus m plus 3x plus 2x is 5x and that is equal to 24. Just hold on to that information as well. Nice. And then finally, we use this information, the total number of students who play cricket. That is a plus 6 plus y plus 3x plus z plus 2x. Okay. Yeah, this is total of cricket. It should be equal to 2 times total of basketball. b plus 1 plus a plus 3x. Okay. Plus m plus 2x. Now, try to put the values that we are already aware of. You see from here, we have a plus y plus z plus 5x. A, a plus y plus z plus 5x. That will be 24 minus m. Can you see that? A plus y plus z plus 3x and 2x. That is 5x a plus y plus z plus 5x. That is 24 minus m. So, I am going to put it. So, 6 is remaining. 6 plus 24 minus m. Wow. This is equal to 2 times. Now, here on this side, look at it again carefully. a plus b is 6. a plus b is 6 plus 1, 7 plus m plus 5x. So, everything is removed. Can you see that? Yeah. 7 plus 5, m plus 5x into 2 and so on and so forth. Just simplify carefully. So, 24 and 6, 30 minus m equal to 2 into 7 is 14 plus 2m plus 10x. Okay. So, what do we get? We get 14 and 30 that is 16 equal to 2n m3, 3m plus 10x. Nice. Now, x cannot be 0 because if it is 0, then the things will fall apart. <laughs> okay. So, we put x equal to 1. If I put x equal to 1, if I put x equal to 1, then this is 10. 10 goes to this side. 16 minus 10 is 6. So, m will be 2. Can I take x equal to 2? If I take x equal to 2, then m will be negative. So, this is the only possibility that we have. x equal to 1, m equal to 2. Just put the values, okay? x equal to 1 and m equal to 2. So, if you put the values, what happens? You know, if you put x equal to 0, then 3m will be 16. So, m will not be integer. That is the problem. So, x has to be 1. So, if x is 1, 3x will be 3, okay? 2x will be 2, right? m is 2. Okay, so we have got quite a lot of values here. Is there anything else that we can do? Think about that. So we have got the values of x and m. Can we put x and m anywhere else? Even if I put here, I still don't know, have no idea about y plus a plus z. Tick, that's okay. Let's see. z equal to a plus x. Okay, so we can do something about that. So x is 1, so z equal to a plus 1 z equal to a plus 1, z equal to a plus 1. Also, we can put the values of m and x here, okay, values of m and x. m is 2, x is 1. So, this is 5 and 2, 7, 7 goes to the other side, 17 and a plus z, z is a plus x. So, that is z equal to a plus 1, you can put there. So, from here, y plus a plus, in place of z, a plus 1, okay, plus m plus 5x, m is 2 and 5, 7, and that is equal to 24. So, what happens now? You see, y plus 2a is equal to 16. 
So z equal to a plus 1, y equal to 16 minus 2a. I'll just write it. Z equal to a plus 1. Okay. Z equal to a plus 1. And y equal to 16 minus 2a. This is 16 minus 2a. What else can you do? So the total of dps is a plus 1 plus 2 plus 2. That is a plus 5. The total of KPS is 16 minus 2A plus 3 plus A. 16 minus 2A plus 3, that is 19 minus A. Is that correct? Yes. So that their total is 24. Wow, A and A will cancel. And this is 12. B, if you want, you can write this as 6 minus A. So there is only one unknown for now, and that is A. Everything else that we could have found, we have. That's it. Let's take a look at the questions. What are the questions? How many students from DPS played only basketball? DPS only basketball. Can we do that? DPS only basketball is two. So that is definite. Option B is the correct answer. The sum of the number of students from APS who play basketball and the number of students from DPS who play cricket. So APS basketball, DPS cricket. APS basketball is... 1 plus 6 minus A, right? APS basketball, APS basketball and DPS cricket, DPS cricket, DPS cricket is A plus 1 plus 2, that is plus A plus 3. So A and A cancel, 1 plus 6, 7 plus 3, 10. So that is also determinable, nice. That is also determinable, okay? Which of the following statements cannot be true? Number of students from DPS is equal to the number of students who play basketball. DPS total is how much? DPS total is A plus 5. And the total number of people who play basketball, total number of people who play basketball is 7 minus A, 3 plus A. So that is 10 and 4, 14. Total number of people who play basketball is 14. You can check from here. 1 plus 6 minus A, 7 minus A, 3 plus A. A, A cancel, 7 and 3, 10. And 2 plus 2, 4, 14. Okay, 14. So what do we have here? So number of people who play basketball is 14. And total number of students from DPS, total number of students from DPS was A plus 5. A plus 5. Now is there a comparison between A plus 5 and 14? Check that. You see A has to be less than 6. Okay, otherwise this area will be negative. A has to be less than or equal to 6. Even if I take A maximum 6, this maximum is going to be 6 plus 5, 11. 11 is any case is going to be less than 14. So it cannot be equal. So this cannot be true. So this cannot be the answer. Right? Pretty simple. Number of students from KPS who play both the games. KPS, both games. KPS, both games is 3. KPS, both games is 3. Is equal to the number of students who, from APS who play only basketball. APS, only basketball. APS, only basketball. Is 6 minus A. APS only basketball is 6 minus A. 3 and 6 minus A. Oh, wait a second. Our answer is already done. The question is which of the following statements cannot be true? I'm sorry, I said cannot be the answer. This is the answer. Okay, just read carefully. Cannot be true. We just checked that this cannot be true. This cannot be equal. M plus 5 is definitely less. So this is the answer of the question because it cannot be true. So we don't need to go ahead and check with others, may or may, may not be true, right? So the first option is the correct answer, right? Just to check, the second option, can 3 be equal to 6 minus A? Yes, it is, it is possible. It is possible. We want cannot be true. So that is, that will not be the answer, okay? The number of students from DPS who play cricket is DPS only cricket. DPS only cricket. DPS only cricket is A plus 1 is equal to the total number of students who play both the games. Total number of students who play both the games is 1 and 3, 4 and 2, 6. So A plus 1, can it be equal to 6? Yes, A has to be less than equal to 6, so that is possible. So this cannot be the answer. Fantastic. None of these. Okay, so option A is the correct one because this is definitely cannot be true. Right. Last one. If the number of students from DPS is a multiple of 7, DPS multiple of 7, a plus 5 should be a multiple of 7. 
Now, multiple of 7 means 7, 14, 21, and so on. Now, a plus 5 equal to 7 will give us a equal to 2. a plus 5 equal to 14 will give us a equal to 9. That is not possible. a has to be less than equal to 6. So, this is not possible. Only 7 is possible. That means a is equal to 2. That means a is equal to 2. Now, once we have a equal to 2, then what is the question? What is the question? The question is, numbers from KPS who play cricket. KPS cricket. KPS cricket is 16 minus 2a plus 3. So, if I put a equal to 2, this will be 4. 16 minus 4 is 12. 12 plus 3, that is 15. Uh, nice. Good question. So, this is 15. Right. So, this was also, this can be considered as an easy question.